actually comes out pretty good. He has me driving and talking when I was done. Because that's why I did it. I did a drive and talk. I, I get antsy then waiting for the next one. Yeah, me too. I've been when, when are you putting another one up there, Kelly? I, I enjoyed that. I can't believe more people don't watch it. Start advantage. You can get over here and fish right around this. Right here, around that tree out there. Oh, that'd be good. Trying to be some fish out there. All right, so we're going to fish here. Hopefully, you guys can see us with this view. We're going to fish here a little ways, at least for a little while. Didn't get anything? Hi guys, back here again. Uh, that didn't work out. No fish. I kind of figure it's really cold out. It's probably like in the 30s, you know, high 30s, low 40s, something like that. Oh, it's been cold overnight. Two days ago, it was down in the teens here in Pennsylvania. So, like I said, it's cold. I'd blow some smoke for you, but <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go down this little trail here. Uh, down in here, some old canal uh, structure holes. Uh, we're gonna go down, maybe we can catch some bluegills, perch, bass, pickerel, whatever's biting. We'll see what's biting down here. All right, we'll get back to you when we get something. It's all frozen over here. I don't know. I don't know if the water will be. Uh, You'll be able to fish. <laughs> we'll find out here real soon. Right about here's where I can usually get a couple, get a couple bluegills to bite maybe from this hole. All right, we'll go in here and give it a shot. Gotta kind of sneak up to the spot. Guys, got a fish here. How about that? <laughs> nice bluegill. If I can get it in. species took a little bit to catch them but so I guess they're in here 
and they're still biting. Not a bad, bad sized bluegill. I got a pretty decent sized hand. Turn back. Alright, get your brothers. Let's see if we can get some more. It's got to be some history related to this place. This is like an old canal, runs right next to the railroad. Can't believe there's fish here at all. But they're here. Still didn't get that chesty yet. <laughs> but hey. Yeah, I know. You can't believe I'm out here fishing with earthworms, right? But that's what works. This time of year, yeah, you gotta take the bait that works. A little night crawler. Let it just slowly sink to the bottom on its own. Work it a little bit. That's what they call finesse fishing, I guess. Mr. Bird, how you doing? Why don't we come in here and fish with you? Just because the water freezes on top doesn't mean the fish start to stop biting. It just means it's cold. Now we change spots again. People out here walking around now, it's a little warmer out. Still no more bites when I got that one blue bill. I gave it another 15, 20 minutes and I'm gonna be heading back to the car. It's still cold enough out here to be winter time, you know? So, fish don't want to bite, hey, I'll be done disturbing them. It's a nice quiet way back here. Yeah. It's like in your area of the country, but here it's cold. Oh, we still got turtles out. <laughs> Check them out. I don't know if you'll let me walk up to them, but if you just went in. So we got squirrel, squirrely ass turtles out. <laughs> Wait, no, what kind of, what kind of mushrooms those are? I don't take mushrooms myself, I don't. Idea what's good and what's not, so I tend to just leave them alone. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to throw out here a little bit because it's open. It looks promising, so I'll get back to you after I rig back up and cast a couple times. We got something on here, and it feels like it's a pretty decent fish. Whatever it is, I have no idea. Might be a catfish, could be a bass. Oh, look at this thing. Nice sized fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's a big, big, huge pickerel. Look at this. Get it in. Gotta clear some brush here. <laughs> well, see, when you go out fishing. Just shows you, you never know what you're going to catch. Look how big that fish is. See my foot? My foot's only maybe half the size of that fish. <laughs> All right, look, let's, let's get a, a nice picture of him. 
and then we'll uh, get them back in the water. A fish like that deserves to live another day. What do you think? Oh. Unbelievable, huh? Okay. Hey guys, look at the size of this. This one was like a musky. That's how big that chain picker was. He is huge. Okay, so we're gonna put him back here. Go back where you belong, Mr. Chain Pickerel. <laughs> so you never know what you're going to catch, and I can guarantee if you spend your time on the couch and not explore places like this, you're not going to catch anything. But hey, look guys, it's been a while. It's time for me to head out of here, okay? So until next time, tight lines, take it easy, okay? Take it easy.